Chevrolet. Now, with breaking news, power of five weather, and the largest investigative team, this is News Channel 5 at 11 on your side. High gas prices have drivers switching to hybrids, but will it save them money? We crunch the numbers in tonight's Assignment 5. Why police say a local paramedic trusted with lives can't be trusted with patients' property. The showers and thunder have ended, but we are tracking a cool start for the end of June. Your forecast minutes away. But first tonight, an outraged and grieving community comes together to remember a wheelchair-bound grandfather shot and killed on his porch. Tonight, dozens gathered in front of the porch where 75-year-old Daniel Lewis was shot and killed. News Channel 5's John Kosick was there and joins us now live with the latest. John? Yeah, Curtis, the vigil comes as Cleveland police have charged 27-year-old Eric Carsons with aggravated murder in the shooting death of Daniel Lewis, a man remembered tonight for his love of friends and family. On the southeast Cleveland street corner, they gather tonight to pay tribute to Daniel Lewis on the very spot where the 75-year-old's life ended just 48 hours earlier. It just shows the, the love that was first given from Dad that's coming back to him. The Lewis family wanting this to be not a mournful event, but a celebration of life. Just the other day, he told me he was tired, not knowing this was going to be the reason. But now I can shout for John. He is not tired no more. Lewis was shot in the chest Friday as he sat in his wheelchair when police say 27-year-old Eric Carson fired a gun from a car at a rival drug dealer and missed hitting Lewis. The family thankful that the driver of that car turned himself in, leading to Carson's arrest. We want to continue to pray for yes. you and your family as well. Because yes. yes. some of us have to think about those that suffer like we. Still, there was anger over what happened. That a man who lived for 70 years, a righteous life, would have to be struck down in his own front yard. Enough is enough. Comments echoed by police leaders. It's my responsibility as commander of this district for every soul in this district. Yeah. Bullets don't have eyes. That's right. That's right. And this these random gunshots and the shootings have got to stop. Yes. And what has to start, says Councilman Zach Reed, is the mayor to allow the police force to do what they were trained to do. They know who these thugs are. They know who these hootlings and terrorists are. Let them, uh, it's time to unleash them onto the community so that we don't have these tragedies. And to those who would argue about civil liberties, Reed says he would say back to them, what about the civil liberties of the Daniel Lewis's of Cleveland? The family hopes to finalize funeral arrangements sometime tomorrow. On the night beat, reporting live in downtown Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Breaking tonight, at least seven are dead after two medical helicopters collided in midair over Arizona. Authorities say three survivors are in critical condition tonight. The cause of the collision is not known. Tonight, the FAA is investigating. Charges came down today for a Cleveland woman accused of hitting and killing a young boy with her car. Cleveland police say 42-year-old Michelle Lindsay struck and killed 8-year-old Tony Haynes on Friday evening while he was riding his bike. Investigators say alcohol played a role in the crash. Lindsay is set to be in court tomorrow morning. Charges also came down today for a Cleveland EMS worker accused of stealing from an elderly patient. This is video of 32-year-old Tiffany Forte at a Target store. Investigators say it shows Forte using credit and debit cards from an 87-year-old woman who was taken to Euclid General on June 3rd. Now to the power of five. Sky is clear tonight after another round of storms passed over northeast Ohio today, but it's going to feel a lot cooler as you make your way to work tomorrow. Power 5 meteorologist Jason Nicholas is tracking the latest. Jason. You know, Curtis, June has been a very interesting month. We began the month with temperatures uh, in the lower 90s. We had some record breakers there, and then we kind of entered a cool uh, cool down towards the middle of the month, and we're certainly ending it also on a cool down. Take a look right now at the Power of 5 Live Doppler Network. A cold front has moved through. We're really not seeing that cold air yet, but that will happen because a trough, which is up here to our north and west, that is going to move through as we head through the afternoon tomorrow. And that will do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to cool us off. And number two, it's going to again bring us a chance of showers uh, through the afternoon. Less of a chance of storms. Though. Look at those readings already in the lower 60s. We'll be down into the 50s for many of us. I'll tell you what, tomorrow our highs will be closer to where our lows should normally be this time of the year. We'll break all that down coming up in my chilly end of June forecast, Curtis. Chilly indeed. Thank you, Jason. Conditions much worse in California, which is bracing for more lightning storms. Earlier this week, a round of lightning sparked hundreds of wildfires across the Golden State. Tonight, 
Firefighters are making little progress against more than a thousand of them. Here's how bad gas prices have gotten. A drop, even a modest one, is a relief worth waiting for. Take a look at the lines at the Shell Station on the corner of Graham and Fish Creek in Stowe, where the price for a gallon of regular was $3.71. That's well below the regional average of $3.99, and that's better than the national average, which AAA puts at $4.07. An Ohio senator is leading the charge for cheaper gas. Tomorrow, Senator George Voinovich will launch his high gas prices tour at Stark State College in Canton. Voinovich plans to discuss rising fuel prices in the state as well as possible remedies. Stark State is partnering with Rolls-Royce to develop fuel cell research. Rising prices are on everyone's mind. In recent days, several cities across America announced they will have to scrap their 4th of July celebrations this year. It would just cost too much to put them on. And tonight, many are waiting to see what happens tomorrow morning when Wall Street reopens. The Dow Jones plunged more than 10% this month. It's its worst performance for June since 1930 and the Great Depression. Nothing's going right uh, for the average American household. Uh, gas prices are at record high, stock prices are falling, housing values are evaporating, we're losing jobs, unemployment's rising. It's just a very difficult time. Since October, the Dow has fallen 19%, just a hair shy of the 20% decline that marks the start of a sell-off. In the midst of economic turmoil at home, the presidential candidates are shifting their focus from domestic to foreign policy. Both Senators John McCain and Barack Obama have plans to leave the country in the middle of their campaigns. This week, McCain travels to Mexico and Colombia. For his part, Obama plans a visit to Iraq next month for the first time in two years. The Democrat hopes to highlight the differences between his Iraq policy and McCain's. The Bush administration and Joe Lieberman in the forefront have from the beginning relied excessively on military force as the answer to all the nation's security problems. And what Barack Obama understands is that military force may have to be used as a last resort, but it's not the first resort. Senator McCain spent the day courting the Christian right. He met with even evangelist Billy Graham in North Carolina, thanking him for his support when McCain was a POW in Vietnam. Reverend Billy Graham recalled that during the Vietnam War when I was in prison, he visited my parents in Hawaii twice, and he and my father and mother prayed together for me, and I expressed my appreciation for that. Tonight, several national polls put Obama slightly ahead of McCain in popular votes. New tonight, Cleveland police held a sobriety checkpoint in the 3rd District. That's the downtown Cleveland area. Officers were stopping cars looking for drivers impaired by either drugs or alcohol. It's part of a local push to make streets safe before 4th of July weekend. An OVI task force nabbed 15 people on outstanding warrants in a sweep across Cuyahoga County. Today was the kickoff for the annual 4th of July over the limit under arrest crackdown. The goal was to get unsafe drivers off the street before the 4th of July. More checkpoints will also be held in Euclid and North Royalton this week. Police issued Baltimore Ravens player Derek Martin a citation at Hopkins International for drugs. It happened last night when security checkpoint screeners found marijuana on them. Martin has been a cornerback with the Ravens since 2006. And this week, the RTA will start conducting audits on their buses. The RTA will have employees ride buses with passengers and compare the number of people on the bus with the numbers in the fare boxes. The RTA launched the audit because popular routes showed drops in riders. The doors open bright and early at the Cleveland Museum of Art tomorrow after nearly three years of renovations. The reopening kicked off this morning with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Then art fans and families filled its galleries all day. Those who checked out the new look museum were amazed. It reaches down into the souls of people. It uh, brings out the best of you. You, you, gotta, you gotta see it, you gotta love it. It's heart. And guess what we need? We need heart. You gotta come here and see this. More than 900 works of art have been returned to 19 renovated galleries. High gas prices have people running away from gas stations and toward hybrid dealers, but tonight's Assignment 5 will show you if turning green really saves you green. The movie WALL-E captivated audiences this weekend, but this sci-fi isn't in the future. We're going to meet the real WALL-E helping people right now. 
and a new hit for singer Amy Winehouse. But this one's not on the charts. It's on a man's face. My name was Enrique Gonzalez, the hurricane. <laughs> what is Omar Vizquel talking about? An interview you won't believe with the future Hall of Famer and what he used to do during spring training when he was with the Indians. The story coming up on the Toyota Sports Sunday. Plus, we'll check in on Omar's old team as they try to take down the Reds over at the ballpark. We'll see you at 1135. Double shooter Joe Paganekis fights for you only on News Channel 5. Monday on Good Morning Cleveland, planning a summer party? Well, get some advice to make it a success. Plus, we have slightly cooler weather for a couple of days in your Power of 5 forecast. We'll see you Monday at 5 a.m. In 1927, little Jimmy Delagutti tries his first hamburger. So what do you think, Jimmy? It's not big enough. Those words would haunt Jim until many years later when he creates the Big Mac. To celebrate the Big Mac's 40th anniversary, you can get a Big Mac for the original 1968 price of only 45 cents when you purchase a Big Mac Extra Value Meal. A second Big Mac, just 45 cents. Don't be afraid of the pump. The all-new Accord from Honda, the most fuel-efficient car in its class. Lease a Honda Accord for $219 a month for well-qualified customers. Incredibly fuel-efficient Mitsubishi Outlander. Now choose between the gas-sipping four-cylinder or the 220-horsepower V6. Hop in. It's go time. Academy Award winners Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts. Go ahead, girls. Start talking. Tom's home video on the internet. Do you have a MySpace page? Are you 17? Shameless self-promotion, Oprah. That's all it is. Next, Oprah. Monday at 4. You're watching News Channel 5 at 11. With Curtis Jackson. Tracy Carlos. Power of Five meteorologist Jason Nicholas and Sue Ann Roback on your side. Eyeing a hybrid to save you money at the pump? Careful, you may not break even. In tonight's Assignment 5, we're going to crunch the numbers so you don't waste your money. A five-year-old is dead because of a thunderstorm that struck an Alabama air show. The crowd was literally caught in the middle of it and can be seen running for cover. The strong winds actually lifted tents and a stage off the ground. The child was killed when the wind blew a tent on top of him. Singer Amy Winehouse is making headlines again for all the wrong reasons. Fresh out of the hospital and performing at a London music festival, she got caught on tape hitting an audience member. It's not too clear, but you can see her jab with her elbow before lunging at the fan. Witnesses say the fan tried to grab Winehouse. At the box office this weekend, the lonely little robot Wally -E picked up quite a few playmates. <laughs> Tons of families packed theaters to see the movie, the new Pixar flick about a trash compacting robot left on an abandoned earth. Angelina Jolie's assassin was no threat. Wanted came in second with Get Smart in third, Kung Fu Panda and The Incredible Hulk rounding out the top five. Well, the movie wall -E features robots of the future created to help people, but it turns out the future is now. A real life robot is helping care for elderly relatives from miles away. Welcomes you. In the futuristic movie wall -E, robots give people massages, cook for them, even clean up after them. Think that technology is far-fetched? Think again. Meet UBOT5, a robot that can not only help with housework, but check a person's vital signs and call 911. Roboticist Rod Gruppen and his team designed UBOT5 as a round-the-clock in-home assistant for the elderly, in addition to giving its owner the ability to interact with people located miles away. A family member, an EMT, or the family doctor, um, the grocer, the mailman, uh, or the pharmacist. 
This demonstration shows how someone could, over the internet, remotely control Ubot to search for a parent who's not answering the phone. If he's unresponsive, Ubot could use a stethoscope and send those signals to a healthcare professional. Or, if the person is conscious, Ubot could help perform physical examinations. Raise your arms like this. Groupin explained in the journal Autonomous Robots that robots like this will also help family members care for their elderly relatives on a daily basis, even if they live in another state. If you could allow them to just poke in without, you know, with the ease of a telephone call, be able to move around the house, to be able to inspect that toilets that's overflowing and, and facilitate calling the plumber, just taking care of um, the loved one. This experimental version of UBOT still needs an operator, but the researchers plan to give it capabilities like making its own decision to call 911. And though it may never be given dancing abilities like wall ease, UBOT has other ways to make someone smile. Thank you. Next, Groupin's team plans to test UBOT 5 in nursing homes and then in private homes. In health news tonight, researchers got the green light to start human trials of a cancer-fighting method that's already been shown to work in mice. Researchers use white blood cells from healthy people who may naturally be cancer resistant. In early studies, mice were injected with a lethal amount of cancer cells. Then researchers bred a colony of mice with immune cells that destroy tumors. Cells from those mice were given to the sick mice, which cured those advanced tumors. That gave researchers the confidence to ask for federal approval. If we can identify cancer-resistant humans, uh, why not just do the same thing as we did in the mice uh, without even knowing the mechanism and to find out whether it will work or not. Researchers are now recruiting for healthy cell donors and patients for the clinical trial. With today's high gas prices, the hottest cars on dealer lots are hybrids. Sure, they get great gas mileage, but you're going to pay a premium, in some cases, a big premium. In tonight's Assignment 5, consumer reporter John Matarese tells us if they're worth the extra cash so you don't waste your money. If you're looking for a new car, a lot of us are starting to look seriously at hybrids. They're no longer just a niche item. But one big question remains, is a hybrid really worth the extra money? The 45-mile-per-gallon Toyota Prius has become the most sought-after car in America, according to Cars.com. But do today's gas prices really justify a hybrid? The Wall Street Journal says with some hybrids, the cost premium is worth it, though with others, it probably isn't. The Journal says the Prius cost $3,000 extra compared with a comparable Camry. With $4 gas, it will take you 3.5 years to break even. Not bad, because you'll make money on year four four, five, and six. But the Ford Escape Hybrid costs $4,000 extra, 5.9 years to break even, so you won't see savings for six years. Others are worse. The journal says the Lexus LS600 Hybrid cost $18,000 extra, which would take 98 years, almost a century, to break even. My advice? The Wall Street Journal says if the standard version of a car gets good mileage, a hybrid version may not be worth the extra cost. But from the Doesn't That Stink file, the tough time finding a hybrid right now. With gas at $4, a Toyota Prius now makes financial sense. That's the good news. The bad, there's now a waiting list for them. Doesn't that stink? Bottom line, if you've always liked the idea of a hybrid but felt it wasn't worth the extra cost, now may be the time to change your mind, at least with some models. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. And remember, we have more useful consumer information on our website, newsnet5.com. Just click on the consumer button. Now, keeping you safe with five live radars. This is the Power of Five weather forecast. Okay, up and down day for sure. Started off real nice with sunshine and the showers moved through. We kind of repeated that about four or five times a day, it seemed like. Nothing severe, though, and no reports of any type of uh, hail or damaging winds for us. So we made it through the day uh, for the most part. Just some uh, showers here uh, throughout the area. Cold front has moved through. We say goodbye to that. Normally, that would mean uh, better weather for us. However, we've got a couple of troughs. There's the first one. Uh, that's going to move through as we head through the afternoon tomorrow. That's going to give us a reinforcing shot of uh, cold air. Really cold for this time of the year, and that will also 
add to some possibility of some showers rotating through with this big area low pressure here to our north and east. Okay, closer view. Temps right now are in the lower 60s. Our five live radars picking up a couple of sprinkles here and there, a few and far in between. Heavier band of rain down uh, to the south and to the east, heading into Pennsylvania. But uh, air temperatures are in the mid 60s. In fact, tonight I think many folks will be in the upper 50s by tomorrow morning with a chance of rain. Here's a look at our precip and cloudcast. Through the overnight, we're looking dry, and then through tomorrow morning, we may see a shower hug northeastern sections of the state, but I think for the most part, 90% of us will be dry. And similar to today, we'll start off dry, and then by the time 1, 2 o'clock rolls around, we get the showers moving in. I think uh, by tomorrow afternoon, that will mostly be across eastern sections of the state. I think if you're living west, you're better off. Although these hit or miss showers can pretty much pop up at any time uh, with the unstable atmosphere that we're going to have tomorrow. And then heading through the evening, again, as the sun sets, uh, these showers die, and that is the case by tomorrow night. And right now, it looks like Tuesday and Wednesday also looking pretty good as we start to pattern change ourselves a little bit for warmer and drier weather. 65 degrees right now out at Hopkins. Winds are out of the southwest at 5. Dew point is at 59, so uh, that is much drier. Drier and less humid air. Uh, for today, tonight, and also for much of your day tomorrow. 68 degree lake water tent. Meanwhile, 60s for everyone else. A little cool as you head down towards Youngstown. Akron Canton Airport also at 62. We had 80 today. That's right on average. 67 our low temperature. It's been as warm as 94 back in 1952. Okay, the wide picture shows a big ridge of high pressure here off to the west. This will move in. This is going to be our Tuesday, our Wednesday, and the first part of Thursday weather. Uh, but until that happens, we still got to deal with this stubborn uh, area of low pressure here, which is going to kind of dominate our weather at least through tomorrow with that cool air. Okay, June, last day tomorrow. It's going to end on a cool note. There's your cold bubble of air. It'll be in there tonight. And then through the day tomorrow, there's some showers possible, especially during the afternoon into the evening hours. Weather winter of the week this week. How about Wednesday? 85 degrees with partly cloudy skies. 58 tonight. Uh, could see an isolated shower. I think many of us, though, will stay dry. Tomorrow, sun cloud mix, often on rain showers. Yes, that is 68 degrees for a high. 78 for Tuesday, looking real nice. Wednesday, there's your weather, winter 85. Chance of storms come in Thursday. Dry right now for Friday and Saturday, the big holiday weekend. Tomorrow's UV index, if you get that sunshine, is a 7. Curtis. Looks good, Jason. Thanks. A couple of incredible feats were made in the world of sports today. One on the golf course and one on the track. Wait till you hear how fast this guy, Tyson Gay, ran the U.S. Olympic trials today. Sue Ann is going to show you this amazing performance next. Think eating healthy will cost big bucks? Think again. News Channel 5 saving you money with five healthy tips that are guaranteed to lower your grocery bill. Thursday at 11. The new Lincoln MKX will turn you on to a whole new way of driving with voice-activated sync technology for your music. Play artist motion worker. And your cell phone. Call Amy. Along with exclusive sync, you'll also find that Lincoln MKX has unsurpassed highway fuel economy. With an additional $500 bonus cash, hurry to lease the Lincoln MKX for only $389 a month. From the fastest growing full line of luxury vehicles, Lincoln. Jeep is giving you protection from high gas prices. Announcing the Jeep 299 Gas Guarantee. Right now, when you buy or lease most Jeep vehicles, you'll pay just $2.99 a gallon for gas or diesel in each of the next three years for up to the first 12,000 miles per year. Jeep is coming through for you with relief at the pump. The Jeep 299 Gas Guarantee. Or instead of the gas guarantee, well-qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on Grand Cherokee Laredo for just $2.39 a month. News Channel 5 is your official home for the Ohio Lottery. Here are tonight's winning Ohio Lottery numbers. So how is band camp? It's pretty good. We've been summoning you for hours. It's family time. Hey, guys. Chad? What the? Look, with my circle, I can choose how much I pay for an unlimited plan. And he can share unlimited calling with the whole family. You can't do this to us. It's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My Circle. Choose the plan that fits you best and add lines for $9.99 only from Altel. And now get the Altel Hue by Samsung. Buy one, get one free. This summer's big attraction is here. Ladies and gentlemen, guess 
how much it holds. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Love Event is your ticket to test drive the family of SUVs and get an exceptional lease offer on the versatile ML350. Ride them all before the event packs up July 31st. Get your Power of 5 forecast on Soft Rock 102.1 WDOK. Now, the Toyota Sports Report. The Battle of Ohio belongs to Cincinnati. The Reds won five of six games played against the Indians this year, and big props belong to Adam Dunn. He did the tribe in in this series, cranking out five home runs, including this two-run shot in today's series finale. Reds win today, 9-5. The U.S. Women's Open wrapped up today, and the final round belonged to Indy Park. Just 19 years old, Park putts for birdie on 11, and again on 13 to shoot a 2 under 71. She becomes the youngest woman ever to win the U.S. Open. Well, from the youngest ever to the fastest ever, Tyson Gay, practically a blur in blue, setting the mark for the fastest 100-meter dash in the U.S. Olympic trials. That time, 9.68 seconds. Curtis was hooting and hollering in the newsroom <laughs> over this one, qualifying Gay for the Summer Games. Well, we have a jam-packed Sports Sunday coming up in just a couple minutes, including a conversation with former Indian Omar Vizquel. My name was Enrique Gonzalez, the Hurricane. <laughs> Are you wondering what Omar's talking about? Well, you'll have to stay tuned. Sports director Andy Baskin sat down with one of the Indians' all-time fan favorites this week. You can hear that conversation unplugged in just a couple minutes on Sports Sunday. We're also going to talk to a playoff-tested member of the Gladiators who joins us in studio to pre preview the team's playoff game tomorrow. The Battle of Ohio in the books. We're going to take a look at what's ahead for the Tribe, plus get you caught up with what some of the Browns are doing this weekend. I'll get started, 11.35. Back to Tyson Gay for a moment. The one thing I love about this guy is he is wearing tights that are similar to the uniform that Jesse Owens wore during the 1930s. It was a tribute to him. A tribute to him. Oh. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. Good. One look at the forecast in this a moment. This portion of the news is brought to you by Chrysler. Dodge is protecting you from high gas prices. Announcing the Dodge 299 Gas Guarantee. Right now, when you buy or lease most Dodge vehicles, you'll pay just $299 a gallon for gas or diesel in each of the next three years for up to the first 12,000 miles per year. Dodge is coming through for you with relief at the pump. The Dodge 299 Gas Guarantee. Or instead of the gas guarantee, well-qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on Ram 1500 SLT for $229 a month. If you have Chase Checking, you now get an exclusive discount on a Chase Home Equity line of credit for any new additions. Introducing Chase Exclusives. Bigger discounts. Because getting more matters. Chase what matters. If you have Chase Checking, your debit card earns you free rewards points. Introducing Chase Exclusives. Free debit rewards. Because getting more matters. Chase what matters. Introducing the car that pays for itself. Check it out. Let's say your gas hog gets 12 miles per gallon. If you drive 15,000 miles a year, gas could cost you $4.22 a month. But with a Honda Accord that gets 31 miles per gallon, you save over $258 a month. That's enough savings to pay for your new Honda Accord. On sale now for just $2.19 a month. It's the car that pays for itself. Log on to NorthernOhioHondaDealers.com and visit your Northern Ohio Honda dealer today. Sports drink, two dollars on PayPass. Sing a little sunshine song. Magazine, three forty nine on PayPass. Put a smile upon your face as if there's nothing wrong. Matinee and a box of goopers, ten dollars on PayPass. Always having time for a quick pit stop. Priceless. Mastercard PayPass, the faster way to pay. Just tap and go. Ah, great, there's your friends. But who's that with them? That's not you, that's Todd. He's just like you, only funny and better looking and more, well, Todd. But unlike you, Todd is in the front row singing, if that's what you'd call it. And he takes photos suitable for framing every time. The life you were meant to live. Chris Rock, live July 16th at Caesars, Windsor. It's summer, so what's dear old dad doing? Commuting. 
I'm not sweating it, though. I opted for the AC seats. Worth every penny. The Cadillac Summer Event kicks off with 0% APR financing for 72 months on most 2008 models. But hurry, this offer ends June 30th. Looking for a great place to take your family on vacation this summer? Ontario Canada has it all. Go to Newsnet5.com and click on Destination Ontario. News Channel 5 on your side. Upper 60s. Yeah, for a high tomorrow with a chance of showers. Tuesday, Wednesday look good, as does Friday and Saturday. Big 4th of July holiday weekend. All right, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Sue Ann. Thank you for watching News Channel 5 at 11. Sports Sunday is up next. Have a good night. Join News Channel 5 for our next broadcast at 5 a.m. Until then, visit Newsnet5.com for breaking news and power of five weather. Plus, see if your home is ready for the switch to digital TV in February 2009. News Channel 5, on your side. Your power of five forecast on 98.5 NCX, Cleveland's classic rock. This